everybody, I'm Mrs. K from the Arcadia Public Library and welcome to Phonology. This is a program designed especially for kids in grades three through eight. And here's how phonology works. We present a project, tell you all the supplies you need, and then we show you how to do that project in very simple steps. Then you have the opportunity to do the project at home. You can experiment with it, you can create something fantastic, Show it off to your friends and family and have some fun along the way. So let's get started with our project for today. Today I'm going to teach you how to play a card game called Solitaire. You may have played this game before. There are many different ways of playing. The version I'm going to teach you today, you can play with actually more than one person. If you get two decks of cards and two people, you can each play a game of Solitaire and you just share your aces. You compete against one another to see who can get the most cards up if you get stuck at the end. If you win, then you both win. But quite often in solitaire, you get stuck. And so at the end of this version, you just count the number of cards that each person got up into the ace area, and that the person with the most is the winner. So if you don't know how to play solitaire, let me show you. Okay, let's start with the basics. In a deck of regular playing cards, there are 52 cards, and those are made up of four suits, the spades, diamonds, hearts, and clubs. And each of these has 13 cards from ace all the way up to king. So when you're gonna play solitaire, you need to have all four of these. And this is what your game is going to look like when you've won. The object of the game is to get all of your cards up uh, in order from ace all the way up to king in their respective suits. Well, how do you do that? Let me show you. First thing you need to do is shuffle them all together. In a game of solitaire, there are many ways of playing, but this is the way I play. You're going to take one card and put it face up, and then you're going to make six cards in separate piles face down for a total of seven piles. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you continue with another card face up, but this time on top of the second pile. And then you put a card face down on each of the piles. Basically what you're looking for is cards of opposite colors and cards that are one up from each other. Okay. So if you're going to move a card, uh, you're going to need to look for two cards that are opposite colors, like this two is a black two. It can come over here and move over to the red three because these cards are opposite colors and two is one less than three. you get stuck there you're going to take the rest of the cards three at a time one two three turn it over and you can play the top card no fair cheating you have to start from the top now a king is a special case the only time you can use a king is if you have an empty pile so far we don't we still have seven piles one two three four five six seven so we can't use that king so we have to continue three more cards turn it up we have a black two, so we need to look for a red three at the end, and there is no red three available, so we'll continue. Three more cards. Oh, there's our red three. That doesn't do us any good there. Now we need a black four so that we can move that, and there is no black four available. So let's continue. Three more cards. Wow, there's our black four. But this time we can use our black four because there is a red five available. So we'll put that up there. And hopefully next time around we can put that red three up. So for this two we need we need one up so we need a three of the opposite color which we have a black three so we'll put that there. For our black queen we're going to need to look for a red king which we don't have so we'll continue. Uh, 
luck. But last time we took a couple of cards off the beginning of the pile, so the next time we go through, we should be coming up with new cards. So hopefully we can get some action going here. Clean. And card up. Oh, we finally got an ace. So your ace goes up here at the top. Turn that over. We've got our red queen. It can go on our black king. Turn that over. Got a little bit of action going here. And we've got red seven. And now we have to take our black six, and the whole pile goes onto the red seven. And then we'll turn up that card. Two, but it's not the right ace. So we'll have to wait. Oh, we do have the right two here though. We can take this two of ace, two of us spades, and put it up there. Okay, so if you had done a little bit better on your game, this is what it would have looked like at the end. So we're just gonna finish up by putting up all our jacks and queens, and pretty soon all of our piles are gonna be complete, and we will have won the game. So that's our Phonology program today. If you're interested in learning about some other games, we have lots of good books at the Arcadia Public Library. Check our online catalog. Here's a few examples. This one called Let's Play and another one about indoor games that you can play with your family. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.